Okay, so I've asked a fantastic question. Um, and I'm making it my thing to share Hawkins' research uh, because I think it's very, very important. Um, he shared that, uh, you know, as the consciousness of humanity rose above integrity, um, through muscle testing, humanity is allowed to know information it wasn't allowed, didn't have the privilege or the eligibility to know before. Um, one of it was muscle testing and being able to tell truth from falsehood, i.e. to be able to tell the wolf in sheep's clothing because so many people are led astray in this world, in this purgatorial realm. And um, the other one, um, and so that research, which is mostly unknown throughout the whole world, can now open the eyes of people who've been lost. Um, one of the most, I think the most important things he shared, uh, I mean, everything, he is an avatar, so everything he shared, and with the spiritual muscle testing, uh, the way to discern truth from falsehood is actually crucial. So I don't, I personally don't recommend any teachers um, that you haven't first calibrated uh, because actually most teachers, uh, spiritual teachers, especially when they get quite popular, fall, which is really surprising, but it just happens to be the case. Um, so, um, and even some of the teachers that Hawkins met a few years later, um, like Ramesh Belkasar, you know, the rumors came out of um, strange conduct from all the students. And a student asked Hawkins, is he still... In integrity and he said just watch the videos basically said you know in an indirect way said no he's fallen so the teachers fall very rapidly um, um i would say most of the teachers that have fallen um some of them drop from like uh five six hundred to around most of them drop below two below integrity so they, they they're actually negative now vast majority, a few of them might drop or are on their way to dropping. So they're falling like 220 or something. So that's an extreme uh, loss of uh, spiritual calibration by making a mistake. Um, so they do calibrate. They usually calibrate like, oh, yes. Um, so um, he shared like Muhammad, probably one of the most um, unfortunate uh, cases um, at the time of writing the Quran uh, was calibrating at the level of enlightenment at the you know high levels, um, but um, uh, he had temporal lobe epileptic fit. Unfortunately, um, during that attack, I mean all the um, negative energies, if you like, the demons are waiting for any chink to disrupt uh, a spiritual teacher who. Basically, as soon as you become a spiritual teacher, um, all the negative energy collective ego uh, in bodies and also in the energetic realm do not like you because you're breaking the illusions of this world and showing the students. So they they they, they do wait, um, and uh, with with that case, it was temporal lobe epilepsy. They came in and took him over, and um, he picked up the sword you know, the sword. Uh, and unfortunately, that was, um, I think, a drop to well below integrity as he picked up war. Um, and, uh, you know, that that's very, very unfortunate and just shows the massive consequences to all the fallen teachers after they've fallen with their students. Because it shows the sad thing that the students haven't got the spiritual discernment. You know, another famous teacher he often talks about is the one who uh, oh, you know, these guys were very, very high calibrating, speaking at very high levels of truth. And the students were getting all kinds of miracles and bliss. Then suddenly, you know, it's like it becomes like, well, we're going to have sex orgies. Sex is holy. So we'll have sex orgies in the ashram. And uh, suddenly he's got 97 Rolls Royces. And the students don't know anything different. They think, well, that's he must be telling the truth. So um, that's uh, that's below, that is a fall below integrity. Um, they fall very high because usually they're at a very high level. When you make an error, 
and you've got spiritual students as your responsibility, you're basically guiding their souls um, and giving them spiritual direction. They see you as God. So to make a spiritual error at that level is extremely severe. Um, and uh, it's not like when you're a nobody making um, and everyone expects you to lie to saying another lie, that's different. If you're a spiritual teacher at a high level with hundreds of teachers that take you as God kind of thing, guru, and uh, are listening to your words for the salvation of their souls, if you make an error there, uh, the consequences aren't the small drop usually. They, they can take you well below integrity. Um, and that's very, very unfortunate. Um, extreme karma for the teacher and bad karma for the students as well. Um, this is the thing of... Uh, personally, I mean, any, everyone can do what they want. I do recommend Hawkins, and he has, if you don't like Hawkins, he has a book, Truth Versus Falsehood, with all the teachers that have been calibrated as above integrity to follow. Um, the avatars are Buddha, Jesus, and Krishna. They're avatars uh, from the past. Um, Hawkins is an avatar, but, um, you know, he, he also mentioned some other teachers there who are integrous. But I, I personally... Would be, wouldn't see a living teacher unless he's calibrated uh, because um, you don't know unless you've got access to the muscle test and you muscle test them, you don't know. They may have thousands of followers at their feet, but you still don't know. And uh, the majority have fallen, even though they get to very high heights. Um, there's vicious tempting of temptation. Um, the energies and forces do not like high spiritual teachers sharing the truth to lead people out of uh, the, the illusions of the limitations that are you know, indoctrinated into this world. So um, yes, and if you have access to a muscle tester, uh, you'll be surprised. I won't go in because it's not the video I want to make naming tons of teachers. I'll stop there. Uh, let me just stop the video.